Good evening and welcome to another box opening with Alternate Dimensions. My name is Brad. I am the store owner. Tonight we're going to be busting a box of the Caltime set. So Caltime um, pre-release events start today. <coughs> And you can pick up pre-ordered draft booster boxes as well. All the other products, the collectors, boosters, the set boosters, and the commander decks will be available for pickup next Friday, February the 5th. Well, that's in there good. set these just off screen and I'm going to turn off the autofocus because this is going to get annoying in a hurry. So it looks like these packs are in reverse order. Kind of interesting. There's our foil. Ooh. And there's our rare Dragar Necromancer. Dragar Helm. Frostbire Arcanist. Binding of the Old Gods. <clears throat> By the way, the new frames on um, snow permanents are, or snow cards are absolutely amazing. Uh, they look like they're frosted over. Um, even the new common dual lands uh, are beautiful. It's amazing. I'm actually going to go through all these. It's mostly going to be. <clears throat> Okay, so these packs were made in Japan. And since they were made in Japan, that's probably why the order is different. They have done that previously. So good. Um, Skim. Uh, Skimfar. Avenger. Elf Berserker. It's really good. Next guard armory. Dwarven hamber. And poison the cup. New foretell mechanic. This is a very interesting mechanic because it gives you something to do with your madam on turns where you may not have anything to do with your madam. And so basically lets you sort of store those cards in exile until later. Uh, when you can play them and sometimes they're cheaper sometimes they're more expensive depending on how good the effect is uh, it's a very unique mechanic that I like <clears throat> and then for the first time uh, so they now have snow instance and snow sorceries 
which previously they did not have. Um, they've had snow artifacts and snow lands and snow creatures, but never instance of sorcery. So this is a first first for that. And you can tell it uses the new frame as well. Oops. Get these in the right pile. So for those of you who are unaware, uh, Kaldheim is a Viking-inspired world. Alright, one of the new token cards for double face cards. Another snow duel. Now this is a bugger. Craven lore. So it's a snow instant. Normally you pay three and a blue and you scry X and then draw three cards. Um, if you don't have snow mana, it's basically just draw three for five mana. If you have snow basic or snow cards to pay for its mana cost, um, then you can scry up to five cards and then draw three. So you're going eight cards deep in a 60 card deck or eight cards deep in a 100 card deck. Both are fantastic rates. Going to be a great rare for the, for this. Forging of the Tyrite Sword. Sagas are back. It makes a lot of sense in this set. Giant's Amulet. Uh, this set of equipment is really cool because you can either play it as just the equipment or you can pay the additional cost and get a creature token that the equipment's attached to, which is really neat. I really like that uh, mechanism. And then runes are a subclass of uh, auras, uh, and they basically they can be attached to either a creature or a uh, another permanent, um, or a creature or an uh, equipment. It says it permanent, but you're only you typically only going to be putting on one of those two, uh, and it gives certain abilities for either. All of these snow land, snow cards look amazing. Foiled on Kongman. This is this is pretty. Uh, Trickster God's Heist. <laughs> Beautiful Fold Saga. Old Growth Troll as our rare. Uh, Skimfar Shadow Sage. Three Seasons. And Battle Shield Warrior. Uh, so the boast mechanic is also new for the set. Uh, Vikings were notable boasters, drinkers, everything. Uh, so boast, you get to use this once per turn <clears throat> if this creature attacked. Uh, so basically, you can declare it as an attacker and then use the boast ability. Uh, even before blockers are declared, you can wait till blockers are declared, you know, you can do a lot of cute stuff with this. Um, so it's very interesting. Try not to bump my mic because this plug is staying loose. So far, we've not seen a um, 
an alternate frame or a double face card. Oops, I got the foil in the wrong spot. Okay, now that I'm done being an idiot. Another snow land. Ooh. And the um, snow um, creature land for the set. Um, it only produces colorless, but a 4 3 that's all creature types. If you're playing a heavy snow deck, that's pretty good. All right, Sertlin Frostbire, uh, Scry 2, then deal 2 damage to each creature for 5 mana. So these lands are pretty good. They are, uh, there's the whole cycle of these. Um, they come into play tap, they pay, f they, they produce one color of mana, and they have an ability that uses an, it and another color. Uh, in, in a standard format, you're probably not going to play more than one or two copies uh, because the effect is expensive. I think most of them are in this range, four to five mana. Um, but they're decent. Oh, this is our first uh, alt frame, and you can see how beautiful that frame is. It'll more time to the frost, legendary snow creature shapeshifter. Um, let's try not to mess with the auto focus, but we'll have to use it here. Uh, you may have it come into play as a copy of target permanent, except it's legendary and snow, in addition to the other types. If it's a creature, it also gets plus one plus two plus one plus one counters and has changeling. Uh, so changeling means it has every creature type. Uh, and the artwork for these are absolutely beautiful. Fearless Liber Liberator. Two one red dwarf that makes another two one red dwarf, fairly aggressive. Fiji's Retribution makes a 4 4 angel token with flying and vigilance. Until end of turn, angels can control gain destroy target creature with power less than this creature's power, and angels you control gain double strike. Uh, so basically, these are the, uh, the Valkyries, uh, which is very interesting. The Valkyries are actually red and black. There's a All right, buddy. Hailstorm Valkyrie, two two angel wizard flying trample for two snow. It gets plus two plus two. Now snow is a cost. If you've never dealt with snow as a cost before, basically it means any <coughs> uh, um, any mana produced by a snow card. Produces snow mana. Um, 
beyond its besides its normal type and amount. So if a card produces one green and it's a, a snow, let's say it's a, a snow forest, it produces one green, which can be used to pay for one green or one snow. Another Trickster Scott Heist. And uh, Avalanche Caller, turning snowlands into four fours. So there's actually a foretell token, see, similar to the adventure token, so you can let people know, hey, this is on an adventure. Another snow duel. Uh, bond in gold. Ooh, that is a full art mythic, and that is Tyvar. Doomscar Titan, Elven Bow, another one of that cycle, and we have Replicating Ring. So we've had one mythic. And one alt frame. Well, so two alt frames. One of the showcase and <clears throat> one of the full arts. Speaking of the replicator ring, that is the, the token, one of the tokens it makes. Calamity Bearer, a giant would deal uh, damage to a permanent or player. It deals double that amount of damage instead. So this is a 3-4 for 4 mana. Autofocus is being a real pain in the butt. Yeah, that's that's powerful. That's powerful. And we have invasion of the giants. Really good on common if you're playing that. Provoke the trolls. And vengeful Reaver, reaper. Now some of these angels are just bad at. Dwarf Berserker, my buddy Gimli. That is my favorite um, snow covered mountain artwork. Oops. Oh. Thinking of Dwarf of oh, Berserkers, here's a, the Bloody Massacre. Spectral Steel. Boreal Outrider. Really like this uh, ability. And then Narfi Betrayer King. 
wouldn't have thought that would ever be an uncommon, but that one's pretty good. Basically, he makes other snow creatures and other zombies, uh, gives them plus one, plus one, and he can put them into play for three snow from the graveyard. He does come into play tapped up. Snow, snow duel. Uh, looks like a first full rare, reckless crew. A bunch of two one dwarf berserkers where excess number of vehicles plus the number of equipment. For each of those tokens, you may attach an equipment to it. So for four mana, you get to do a lot based on your deck building. And then Ruinforged Champion. Make sure runes cost one less and let you search for a rune. <clears throat> Hope to see more of those in the future. Your sometimes they cancel, sometimes a counter spell uh, because of the foretell. Technically, you're paying four mana for it, but if you don't have anything to do on your second turn, you don't have another piece of counter magic. This is perfectly respectable. Another of the um, uncommon lands that, that do something. This one uh, destroys a land and puts a 4 4 troll warrior with trample in play. And this card, I heard this card's busted and limited. Uh, Tear Grid Shadow. Uh, so it's 5 mana instant. Each player sacrifices 2 creatures and has a foretell cost of uh, 2 and 2 black. But instant speed is what blows people's mind. Also, this card is getting a lot of things for a lot of beef for uh, older formats like modern uh, for Death Shadow. Um, one blue, you basically get to lock a creature out from doing anything. Uh, but you have to, the creature deals damage to you, you get to its power when you play it. Uh, so, it's going to hurt, but if you're playing Death Shadow, you really don't care. Beautiful artwork on the treasure. Oh, that snow covered island is pretty. Saroof Realm Eater. Basically, you get to exile a bunch of crap based on the number of counters. Um, sell the Ice Shaper. Um, really interesting design on that one for a red green uh, uh, Shepherd of the Cosmos. Uh, I like that this design as well, and a shapeshifter, Bloodline Pretender. It can be any creature type, and when the creature uh, that the chosen type enters the battlefield, he gets bigger. It's scary how good the magic artwork has been getting, but it's just, they've been slowly getting better and better and better. Um, it does not hurt. There's another. It does not hurt that they've been, uh, since L5R sort of, um, the CCG died. They've been 
contacting a bunch of folks that used to do work for them. Of course, Steve Argyle has been doing work for a while. Charles Urbach's done some pieces. Uh, Drew Baker. Um, Jason Engel. You're going to recognize a bunch of these names. A lot of stuff in this set. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Uh, Arnie Brokenbrow. 3-3 three, three for 3. Haste. Uh, pay 1. You may change his power. Uh, base power to 1 plus greatest uh, power among other creatures you control until the turn. That's beautiful. Another one of the uh, uncommon spell lands. You get to uh, put a plus one plus one counter on two creatures and then give them vigilance and life length on the turn. <coughs> Nico defies destiny and dual strike. Let you copy a spell for, that costs four mana or less. So out of the first 12 packs we've got two alt frames. There are two showcase frames and one extended art. No. I'm not a fan of foils because they curl so much around here. I live in the south, so. Uh, first double sided. Uh, the red blue pathway. Spirit of the Alt Guard. This one's really interesting for a snow deck. Uh, Ergy, the Freezing Flame, the 3 3 Giant Wizard. So basically, if you deal more damage with a giant or wizard or a spell, uh, you get bonuses. And this is one of uh, the, the uh, giants. Um, sticks in this uh, in this set. Uh, in this case, this guy lets you draw cards. It's really good. The worst piece of white removal printed. Um, I'm sorry. Wizards, you're going to have to do a better job. This is terrible. If um, you need somebody to design cards that fit white color pie or moves certain abilities out of certain colors into white, call me. You've been doing it for years in green. You've been doing it for years in blue. You've been doing it for years in red. Heck, even black has got a little bit of stuff that's been moved over. Uh, if you can't figure it out, call me. I ain't been playing this game for 20 plus years. Um, to not know what I'm doing. Yeah, this boat is ridiculous. Crew Skimfar Elder Hall. So, this is a blue black one. You get to basically attempt to kill, you know, get something minus two, minus two, and then make two green health tokens. Uh, Vega the Watcher. Um, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. So, this one works really interestingly well in Commander because it also it counts the commander beyond just things like foretell 
and then rune crown so you get to search for a rune and you can equip it to it big fan of the of these gorgeous frames Is a, an amazing Angel Warrior Valkyrie token. Uh, Blue Green Snowland. Uh, Cosmos Elixir. Why is this not White Enchantment? Um, can't really complain. It's really good, but there's one of the runes. Uh, speaking of a metal uh, artwork, Immerstrom Skull Carrion. All right, this is another changeling. The Jara Glade Warden. Uh, exile creature card from your graveyard. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Gives green a way to use its uh, graveyard. I was talking about Jason Engel before. If you've not looked over his artwork, uh, he had some amazing pieces in L5R, which is where I get got to know him um, if you're interested in any of his uh, pieces you could tell back then that he was some someone special um, speaking of that while I'm thinking about it I think nope he she did not do that one Treasure token, snow covered plains. That is a foiled from the fang bearer. Our death touch um, poison dude. Ooh hoo 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 hoo. Uh, Eradicator Valkyrie. Very aggressively costed. Just, oh, that's beautiful. Herald King of uh, Skimfar. Uh, here, here's another aggressively costed uh, white card, Usher of the Fallen. So it's a one mana, two, one, and you get to make a human warrior token with its boast ability. Uncheck, this thing gets out of hand quick. And that is a rootless U. Basically, he gets a toot or something if he dies. So we've had uh, two mythics and one fold rare. Another snow duel. Oops. So uh, this is our third mythic, and this is Alrim, god of the cosmos. Uh, it's Odin. It's supposed to represent Odin, and uh, Odin's raven. And you can see the artwork on this is just absolutely badass. Of course, that's what you expect from Vikings, right? Um, Icebind Pillar. Uh, so 
icy manipulator of the set. Kind of funny. <laughs> this is a this is a ridiculous um, uh, hate card. Uh, what we mean by hate card is it, it's designed to mess up a specific strategy. Uh, this one, non-land permanent cards in graveyards and libraries cannot enter the battlefield. So it locks you out from returning permanents from the graveyard to play and searching your deck for permanents and putting them into play and then players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries which shuts off a huge number of cards where you're while you may see this some in standard you're probably going to see a lot more of this in older formats um, probably be a chase uncommon especially once the uh, once it um, once it rotates so Arnie slaves the troll of course we saw Arnie Brown uh, um, earlier so he fights a creature you get to add a green put two counters on the one creature and then gain life equal to the uh, increased power among creatures you control So I've gone about 35 minutes. We're going to speed this up. All right, Ice Mentalist. This is a beautiful forest. Reflections of Lichara. Yes. Yes, this card is ridiculous. Path of the World Tree, uh, Valkyrie Sword, and Coil the Forge Master. I think all the double face. Uh, characters are rare or mythic. Hmm. One worm. Speaking of double faced, uh, Tear Grid, God of Fright. This card's going to be stupid for Commander. Uh, Glimpse the Cosmos. Colossal Plow and Ascension of the Worthy. Calvary, God of Kinship, and the Ringheart Crest. Another beautiful card. Frost Auger. I haven't seen one of these pulled yet. A really good card. Another friend, and another or. Uh, Car door doom scourge. If you if you play commander, this guy's pretty good. Um, very interesting. Um, the goad mechanic. He basically has the goad mechanic, which is very nice.
Starham Star Starnham Unleashed. Yeah, this is one of the uh, cards that gets more expensive with Fortel, uh, but just because you can make multiple of them, really amazing card. Uh, Crush the weak. Inga Rune Eyes. And a Clarion Spirit. White Black, beyond having um, the Valkyries, this set also has a weird um, mechanic that when you cast a second spell this turn, you, you get a bonus of some sort. They did that because of the Fortel mechanic. And that makes sense in a way. You would think that both white and black would, would be interested in in Fortel and I think all colors got Fortel cards. Ooh. That's a foiled Tyrite Sanctum. Legendary creature becomes a god in addition to its other types. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. Sacrifice this to make a put an indestructible counter on a god. By the way that also combos with now nah, that didn't combo with what I thought. Never mind. Uh, Cy Cyclone Summoner. I was fixed to say that combo is with the gods from um, from Kamigawa, but I think they're just spirits. Rune. Gates of Istafel. Gain two lives, draw two cards. I mean, Blizzard Brawl. I mean, who doesn't like a little fight? tree. That's beautiful. Uh, Mesia. Bredegard, Protector. So this one not only is an anthem but also makes creatures which is awesome. Uh, return upon the tide. So you get to a recursion spell and if you recurred an elf, you get bonus creatures. Uh, yeah, this one's interesting. Litajar Mirror Lake. You get to basically create a token of a creature you control, except it has a plus one plus one counter on it. Stack two. Snow covered forest. Magda, brazen outlaw. Two one dwarf berserker. Other dwarves get a bonus. When a dwarf becomes tapped, make a treasure and then stack five treasures to get an artifact or dragon from your deck and put it on the battlefield. Kaya's Onslaught, so combat tricks uh, with Fortel, so you can down payment and follow the imposter. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature, exile creature with the greatest power among creatures target opponent controls. Uh, so it won't hit ever hit your creature. Ah, uh, the great halls of Starnheim. Or Starnheim. Uh, 
So you got to sacrifice this and a creature you control to make a 4-4 angel warrior token with flying and vigilance. But its cost is only 3 mana. It's a lot more snow duels than I expected, so that's actually good. But the snow duels are going to be very popular, um, both for Popper and Commander, because I think you're going to see more players start to move in that direction. Um, X Menlith. Gorgeous. Hey, speaking of Jorn, God of Winter, you know nothing Jorn Snow. So this is the uh, Saltai Commander, green on this side and black blue on this side. But you're running him for this. We've seen all those before. Been meaning to pull out all those uh, snow, the well, not snow duels, but uh, snow lands that will will help. Icebreaker Kraken. Uh, we've seen him before, we've seen you before, and we've seen. So, this is the non uh, alt frame for our copier. Foiled Fall of the Imposter. By the way, those look great. Battle of Frost and Fire. Yeah, if you're playing a giant deck, you, you're looking at this. Yeah, we've seen the Valkyrie. Basalt uh, Ravager. So this harkens back to Flanton Kavu. Deals X damage to any target where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. So you play this in changelings and hit whatever you want. Uh, it's both a giant and a wizard, so if you're playing either of those tribes, it's really good. Um, it's not always a flame dunk kapu, but it's really good. Fur ju Judge of Valor. 2-4 for a 2 white and 2 black angel cleric flying lifelink. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Again, those frames are beautiful. Um, if you think they look good on screen, just wait till you have them in your hands. I think they really, you really underestimate how pretty they look. <clears throat> I will say, of all the changes that Wizards have made, I am actually loving the alternate frames. There's a giant wizard. There's no snow land. Uh, King Narfi's Betrayal. If the player mills four cards, then you may exile a creature or one card from each graveyard. and things two and three you may cast spells among cards you control and 
spend mana though or any color mana so <clears throat> real like to steal stuff uh, rune of might another rune and frenzied raider he triggers on boasts and that can get out of hand if you're playing the right deck I think we probably hit our limit on full rares, full mythics. Ooh, there's a full art. That's a full art uh, red black pathway. Blood Sky Berserker. Second so spell each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it and gains menace. Uh, Cardux Vicious Return. Carder, excuse me. May sack a creature, deals three damage to the target. Each player discards a card. Turn target card from a great creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter on it, gains haste until you end the turn. Yep. <clears throat> There's the blue black land, uh, which is basically this one actually costs six plus tap in the land, so that's technically seven. Mill four cards and return a creature card from battlefield to, from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Pretty good. So we've had two full art cards. So and fold. Another mythic god, the god of fury. Thor and Thor's hammer basically. Giants, seen it, saw it coming, we've seen that one. <clears throat> that's probably the last mythic because I think that's six. the trolls destroy target land I didn't think I'd ever see that on a card again in standard well it does cost six mana Nico defies destiny and Valkyrie sword So I will say we haven't had many duplicates, which has been good. Ooh. At least is. Oh, this is a rare. Oh, Tundra Freeman Royal. It's a very good card, but rare. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's a foiled Dorothy Betrayer King. Ha ha ha. Blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures or destroy all planeswalkers. And then I can return a creature a planeswalker with converter my cost extra less from the graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of snow I paid for it. 
really good. Ah, yes. Emmerstrom Predator, Vampire Dragon. Get to exile something, you can protect it. In search of greatness. Poison cup. Three seasons. Giant amulet. Oops. Sorry, guys. Dragon Kin Berserker. He starts making dragons. Alright, guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me tonight while I busted this box open. Uh, these cards will be sorted and added to our inventory. Uh, you can start buying singles for. Uh, Cal time on uh, next Friday February the 5th um, so either check out the website or come on by um, again thank you for joining us alternate dimensions we are your dimension for fun